If you come to Rwanda, you love the place. Peaceful, clean city, everything is organized. Mr. President, I'm so proud of you. Trust me, we love you and we love you. Love you so much. But now people want to party, guys, you want to party? I think everyone in this arena is a giant. Yeah. Masai, thank you for not only your generous introduction, but more importantly, for being behind this idea of giants of Africa. <laughs> Africa is a giant. <laughs> Africans are giants. But surely, it's time. We don't need to keep being reminded. We should know it, embrace it, and be the giants that we are and that we should be. You know, the whole idea of being a giant, among other things, is a matter of choice. You've got to decide. You've got to make that choice. And do that knowing that every one of us in Africa, in Asia, in America, in Europe, in Latin America, wherever. Everyone has a possibility of being a giant and should be. Yes. This whole idea of having Africa and Africans being sympathized with, being supported by everyone else because it's like we are in a place where we are behind everybody else in terms of development of all sorts, including in the sports. <laughs> Yet, we have more that should put, should put us in front of everyone else. We have everything. We have the people, we have the resources, we have the talent. And our people have brain as much as anyone else. As I said it a while ago, to just give an example of how good we can be, 
the MVP today, a young African, a giant from Cameroon. Joe Embiid. That's just an example of how one or more or many of those young people who are here, who are entertaining us, can be as good as Joel Embiid, as others who have come before him, who come from here, on this continent. So, Masai, I thank you for creating this whole idea of identifying young people, bringing them here. You could have taken them anywhere else, and I would be just as fine. Tomorrow it will be another place. But these young people are just being reminded, and through them, the rest of the young people of our continent, that we are as good as anyone anywhere else. And we have to make that choice. of thinking of ourselves as potentially giants, but we should stop being just potential giants. We should be the real giants. It takes hard work. To be a giant, as I said, once it is a choice. Well, maybe not everyone is going to make that choice. Some people may want to be the opposite. Because it is the simplest thing. That choice doesn't give you and a burden to do things, to work hard. So people may choose the easy way. But you shouldn't choose the easy way. We should choose that path. We are going to show up and work hard and develop ourselves and develop each other to the fulfillment of our potential. <laughs> Through the 16 teams representing 16 countries here and to others who are not able to do it, to be here with us, we should grow we should work with each other. We should work together to fulfill this dream of our continent. Masai, interestingly, said he's Nigerian, he's Kenyan, he's Rwandese, he's Let me tell you something similar to that. I was born here. I grew up in Uganda. My wife was born in Burundi. We met in Kenya, and we are here. <laughs> so, Africans, that's who we are. 
We are brothers. We are sisters. We are each other. I am you, you are me. Yeah. And the best way to bring that out to everyone is through talent of sport. Like today, these giants, they are giants, they will be in basketball, but they can be giants in everything else. And it is just a reminder that all of us, you and me and others, we know who are not here with us can be giants. I end on the note of saying, thank you, Masai. Thank you, the team that works with you. Thank you, Amadou, who is here with us. Who is part of this spirit and the team to promote Africa, our possibilities, and what we can be. And on a personal note, I thank you that uh, through these young people, you make us feel real giants. Thank you very much. <laughs>